In this video, we'll talk about Cardano continuing to go sideways here around the lows, getting rejected from the 20 day moving average. We're currently deep in bear market territory. Let's talk about where it's going to next. So what is up? Welcome to the Crypto FOMO. We cover the hottest news in crypto. So includes Cardano analysis, Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and everything you need to FOMO into crypto the right way. So hope you're having a fantastic weekend. The market is continuing to be quiet here on the day. We're kind of like in the deep bear market territory. We had a nice rally this year and now we're starting to retrace and it looks like the bear market it's not fully over like we're kind of like we're not in bull but we're not in bear territory i think we are closer to bull market territory but we might be at the end of the bear market meaning we might go down for the next few months you can see some coins like tongue coins up 35 percent on the week but overall coins are kind of slowly bleeding cardano is down one and a half percent on the week pretty much going sideways and overall, we had a very, very clean rejection here from the 20-day moving average. I mean, we had a fake out above it, and then Cardano just went down below it again. I think as long as Cardano is below it, it's safe to be bearish, or maybe it's better to be risk-averse rather than um, going for profits, right? It's better to focus on preserver capital than trying to make money. It's better to focus on not losing magic interim money instead of focusing on making magic interim money. Very interesting. And then overall, the 20-day moving average as well, it's just like 4 or 5% from here higher so it is very close and i think that until cardano flips that into support then it's going to be it's going to be risky taking longs overall i think that when you do zoom out things do look very very good we are currently just to, for the record just to keep this clean we are currently down from the all-time high we are down 91.92 percent we're down more than 10x like that's a lot like to go to the all-time high it's going to be almost an 11x from here so Lots of money to be made. I still think we're going to see from here like 10, 20 X over the next few years, but we are still in bear market territory. You do want to be cautious. I do want to note on the week you see here, we just had like six weekly candles in the red in a row. Usually you're going to see some relief after that. Also, we are close to multi-week support. So pretty much every time that we went below this level here, you can see like the lowest weekly close that we ever had was pretty much over here. So anywhere around this area, anywhere below 26.3 cents actually has been accumulation. And there was strong buying interest at those levels. Currently, we're below that. We're at 25 and a half cents, as you can see to my left. And pretty much um, that means that dips, buying dips here has been a good idea. And I think it will continue to be the case, at least for a few other bounces as well. I think that the lower you go, obviously, anywhere below here, but I think if we're going to see a tap here of this low, I think that's going to be very, very juicy. I think that if we're going to see Cardano dip below 24 cents or dip to that area, that's going to be a fantastic long opportunity. And I think that for investors, it's worth keeping in mind that maybe pay placing some buy buying uh, buy orders at those levels is going to be very, very promising, right? So I think it does look good. If you are looking to, to buy the dip, I definitely think around this low, it's fantastic. You know, anywhere around 24 cents, you know, 25 cents. I mean, this region is looking very, very good. And overall, if you are looking for a Cardano to reverse into a bull trend, you do want to see a reclaim of the 20 day moving average. You do want to see a reclaim of this descending resistance line as well, which is currently sitting at around 27 and a half cents. And most most importantly, I think it's the breakout of the 30 cent level. I think that this level is very important for Cardano to break. Like I said, I think that anywhere below 30 cents is accumulation. Currently, we're deep in accumulation area. The market is not interested. People are saying like, oh, there's a lot of FUD right now. The people are really afraid of what happened to FTX like a year ago. People are still haven't recovered from that. All of my normie tourist friends that are not really crypto natives are not interested in crypto. Even a lot of the crypto natives that I know are like, whoa, man, no, it's not coming. Like, it's dangerous. Don't buy now. A lot of people are very, very afraid. And those are when you get the best opportunities in the market, not just in crypto, but every market. And at the same time, you know, maybe you're chilling right now. Maybe you're taking some time to make money outside of crypto in your business. Maybe you're spending some time with your family, your kids. And that's a beautiful thing to do. What I like to do in the bear market, I remember in the previous bear market in 2019, I really worked on improving my skills as an investor, as a crypto trader, and really built um, a program that I helped a lot of people watching this channel, my crypto accelerator. 
and really helped a lot of people do very well with it in the upcoming bull market and did very well with it myself. So I think the bear markets are a great time for you to educate yourself and learn and how to be better. I think that now there's not a lot of noise in the space where you can be more focused. You can just, if you want to like become really good at trading, you want to be really good at crypto investing and you want, I don't know, to maybe like go through a video course, not necessarily my video course, but just in general, just go deep into something. I think now is a great time because there's a lot less noise and everyone that you see on Twitter, everyone that's talking on Twitter, those are people that are tend to be quite smart. And those are not in it just for like the quick money. They're not, there's, those are not like crypto tourists that are like, oh, I saw someone on the news. They're saying it's an amazing time to make money. So I think that now if you want to educate yourself, you want to help the future, your future, your family's future, I think this is a great time to hang out and really learn about the space and not just get caught up in the FOMO, right? Like this channel's name is literally Crypto FOMO. And um, while it is very important, you will make money FOMOing at the right time. You do need to know um, just to learn and understand what you're doing. So I think that's why watching videos like mine are really important right now to see what's really going in the space before we get caught up in all like the mega FOMO and everything that happens in the bull market where everyone kind of like loses it together. So I think that right now Cardano is in building mode. It's very interesting. Um, you can see here in the lower time frames we are seeing some exhaustion on the 12 hour. But it's still not confirmed, man. I'm still not seeing like daily seller exhaustion. We're still just deep in bear territory. Probably be there for a while as well. Um, let's talk quickly about Bitcoin before we talk more about Cardano. So Bitcoin had like a massive rally here and then that got rejected. Bitcoin got rejected from the 200 day moving average. And also I think it's this 200 week moving average as well. Yeah, so it got rejected from those two levels. So that's not the best sign. Bitcoin got rejected from both of those. It pumped and then got rejected. So not the best look. If you want to be more at risk overs, you could wait for Bitcoin to reclaim that level. And technically, when an asset is below the 200 day, the 200 week moving average, it is in bearish territory, right? So something worth keeping in mind. And also what's interesting is the Bitcoin also just had here a wick of the lows on the day. And this is actually quite nice because you can see here that we had dip. We went into this accumulation range over here and that got bought up real quick. So Bitcoin went down and then from the lows, it is currently up 2% on the day. So quite a nice rally on BTC. And also, interestingly enough, we just took out the last low. We actually took this low right here. We went just below it, right? As you can see over here, the little smudge is just below the low. And what this shows us, what I wanted to show you, is this is a possible bullish SFP swing failure pattern, which could see Bitcoin go to the top of the range, which is pretty much going to be over here, right? So this is pretty much like the low of the range. And then this currently, this is the high of the range, I would say. So we could see Bitcoin rallying from here to the high of the range, which again is going to send Bitcoin up like 8%. It's going to send Cardano up like 20% or so. So this is quite nice. And I like the idea of taking longs here on BTC, actually. I think Cardano doesn't look as good. I think Bitcoin right now is where it's at um, in the market. And we'll see if it's going to hold, if we're going to see a nice bounce or so. But this move, I think, was uh, quite telling as well. Like this kind of strength of a move was quite important to see that like, OK, buyers are still in this market. And it's nice to see such a reaction, right, even though we got rejected from key levels. Now, also, we got Chris with a nice summary of what happened this week in Cardano. So we actually had 142 projects launched for Cardano in total, which is four new projects on the week. So at the current pace, every two days, a new project launches on Cardano, which is beautiful to see. We've got 1,280 projects building. We got 8.79 million native tokens. We got 78,655 token policies. And really the growth, man, week to week is quite significant. I mean, it's growing like the projects launched. It's growing like 2% a week or so. So that is very, very nice, very important. And we love seeing this. We also have some more developments on the technical side of things. Ongoing work on benchmarking setups for GHC 9.6, UTXO HD, and other technical things. Um, native token functionality testing in Lace. The Marlowe team is preparing for the CryptoPal workshop and more. So a lot of building is going on on Cardano behind the scenes. They got a performance and tracing team concluding benchmarking activities for nodes uh, V21 and working on the creation of benchmarking setups for what just said and uh, inf focus on infrastructure enhancements and more. And also we saw um, Project Catalyst, actually the team had a fun 10 Twitter space on Tuesday and invited Charles Hoskinson. And it's also cool to see that a lot of people actually participated um, in this Twitter live that they did here. You can see there's a lot of people in the community 
uh, listening to Cardano, watching for Cardano, you watching this channel, watching videos about Cardano. So even in the bear market, the space is very, very alive and Cardano community is quite strong. And that's good to see. That's good to see because this is signal, right? If Cardano community is holding strong right now, in the bear market, they're going to do very, Cardano is going to do very, very well in the bull market. So this is something worth noting. And then also we got news here from the former SEC chair, Jay Clayton, saying that the spot Bitcoin ETF approval is actually inevitable. Public. So I think, as Anthony said, an approval is an inevitable. Uh an approval is an inevitable for Bitcoin ETF. This is very, very bullish. And of course, this is very, very bullish for Cardano as well. I mean, if Cardano is going to continue attracting retail interest like it has ever since it was created, which I think it will, Cardano is going to go up a lot, man. It's definitely looking very good. And also, we have some more bullish news here. We got here some news that um, the US court calls ETH a commodity while tossing investor suit against Uniswap. So we get another uh, win for the crypto community. The US court calls Ethereum a commodity and also tossing aside investor uh, lawsuit against Uniswap. So this is good news for Uniswap. And it's good news for crypto protocols in general, including um, Cardano. So a New York court has dismissed the proposed class action lawsuit alleging leading decentralized crypto exchange Uniswap was re responsible for causing harm to investors by allowing scam tokens to be issued and traded on the protocol. The judge who oversees the SEC's lawsuit against Coinbase classified Ether as a commodity in their opinion on the ruling, even as the SEC shied away from doing so. So it looks like the, the court system in the US is not as corrupt as the SEC, and they're currently more friendly towards crypto, which is really important. This is a big deal. So we're starting to see a trend here of uh, the SEC losing court cases, um, the court system really stepping in and saying like, hey, we're not so anti-crypto, we don't understand why. And this is very bullish for the space. It's very bullish for Cardano, it's very bullish for the space as a whole. And I think that honestly, as an investor over the next few years, this makes me feel pretty comfortable with crypto and being a crypto investor working in the crypto space. I think this is looking uh, pretty good. Now, also, we got Trader SZ talking here about Bitcoin on the three month. So um, basically, we got the previous three month uh, candle on BTC. We actually wicked the previous high. We took out the highs and now we're, right now we're gunning for the lows. So it's looking like we're going to take the lows next. So basically, if you see over here, let me zoom in for you. So basically, this is the previous uh, three monthly candle from April to uh, 1st of July. And you can see here that this was the high right over here. And then this is the low right over here. And BTC just took out the high. As you can see, Bitcoin just went and just went above that high, took out all that liquidity, all the late shorts, and it just dumped the other direction. And right now we're getting very close to the bottom of that candle. So I think that this area is going to be very interesting by support area. So basically, if we're going to see a reaction around that level, which is going to be over here, if we're going to take that um, resistance, excuse me, if we're going to take that support, it's going to be some very interesting buy level uh, on BTC, right? So anyway, this low around 24,800, if we get, um, uh, if we take out that low, basically, we're going to go quickly below it and then go quickly above it. That's going to be a very, very good risk reward to go along on BTC or on Cardano, targeting pretty much the previous high, right? So this is what happened over here. We had this previous high. And then we just went above it. And you can see also we went above these highs as well afterwards. And then it immediately dumped from that point, right? Not immediately, but it slowly dumped from that point. So taking a long, a short position over here was a great idea. Um, and then especially like I'll show you exactly where. So basically this was the previous highs, right? So once it wicked above it and then it went below it, over here, this was a great short opportunity. Of course, the dump happened quickly, so it was hard to take the opportunity. It wasn't like there's was a lot of time to take it. But since then, Bitcoin continued bleeding. And right now, if we get something like this, the opposite of that, that's going to be very, very bullish. We're going to wick out those lows and go higher. So very interesting behavior right now on BTC. And this is looking, if this is happening, it's going to be very, very bullish for Cardano. We'll see how it's going to play out. And right now, I think that the market is moving pretty slow. But overall, people that buy here are going to be rewarded over the next few years. So that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed that. Much love. Wishing you a fantastic weekend with your loved ones. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, turn on notifications, sharing this video with a friend. And until next time, don't fall too fast.